This is my 1930s Union Red Loom, and it's got two harnesses, so it just makes uh, real simple patterns, but it's still pretty cool. Anyways, I wanted to show you how this works. It's pretty cool. If you see down here, there's some pedals down here, and they're what controls the harnesses that get lifted up and down. So, anyways, since I'm on this side of the thing, I'm going to push on this one, and if you see, you can see it kind of raises up one of the harnesses, and one of them goes down. And then that creates, I don't know if you can see this, this creates a sort of opening here that the weaving will go through and make patterns, basically. So, what we're going to do here, this is called a shuttle, and it is loaded with the rags. Um, I'm using a nice big cotton print sheeting. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, the shuttle just goes through the, what they call the shed, which is kind of like a little triangular area. And you just pull it through and you straighten it up a little bit. You want to make sure your ends, edges are nice and pretty. So I try to like hold on to it and kind of pull it out a little. And then what you have to have is what they call a weaver's triangle, which if you were to weave too tight to the warp, with the weft, which is this material, it would pull in on the sides and it would kind of make it um, scrunchy and that was not good. So anyways, we get done and then we switch, switch pedals and then we pull this down and this is called the beater and it has this thing called a reed in it and the reed helps to keep all the strings nice and uniform. So you beat it and then you put it back down and then you send the shuttle through. So let me show you a little bit of just how quick it kind of goes. You just pull it through, fix your end, put your triangle, pull your meter, switch your feet, put your thing down through again. And then you're, and you're weaving. Isn't that cool? Now once you get pretty far, oops, oh, <laughs> I get stuck. Once you get woven quite a distance up on the loom quick here. then you have to basically advance the warp on the take up reel here so I'll just do one more two or more here you can see how this works I think you could get some strong muscles if you wove all the time because I'm telling you, my arms are getting stronger. Anyways, there's a few more. Ah! <laughs> Once it starts getting to the point where you have to reach so far out, then that means it's time to pull her up there a little. So if you look over here, Ooh, <laughs> there's a mechanism here. There's a release here and then also a take-up wheel. And if you look down here, this is where all the rugs end up going. They come down on this big reel here. So all I do is I let this out and that takes the tension off of the warp. You notice how it all kind of collapsed. Now if I were to leave it like this, it's really loose and that's bad. So what you do here is there's a there's a take up thing here and you tighten it back up again. And it advances at, oh, you know, five or six inches so that suddenly you have a lot more space again and now you can start weaving again. So get it nice and tight and then here we go. So you kind of, oh, you can get tangled. You kind of get this sort of rhythm where you weave oh, about, you know, six inches or so, and then you do the take up, and you just keep working. And you know, it's kind of surprising how quick it can go. I like that. I like knitting, but knitting just takes a long time. It seems like, like this. You know, you can. Oh, I don't know, you probably do a rug or two a day easy without too much struggle. 
it's all the prep work though that you have to have because it's easy to weave, but you have to have all these strips cut and they have to be sewed together and then you have to put them on the shuttle and that takes a little bit of time. But anyways, that's ah. <laughs> that's weaving. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks.